Yo, what's up? Great news today. A mini event just started and unlike previous mini events, this one has insanely good payout. This payout is almost as good as usually big events have. Why? Because you get three very good event weapons. Very good means these are better than most gold other weapons you can buy. So, how does it work? First, you can see here on the right side, clicking on the event, your tasks, you have three stages, every stage lasts for two days, and you do these tasks and you get these prizes, which are usually thousands of gold, and some weapon upgrade orders or appearance change orders, or the most precious one, vehicle upgrade orders, that can save you over 10,000 silver per usage, if you use it on high level vehicles. So, really good, and we get three event weapons, two times the MP35, and once the Breda PG. Both are very good and significantly better than what you can get in the tech tree. So, how do you win those? Well, at the first stage, today and tomorrow, you will want to get five, 50 kills as a rifleman, easy, 30 kills with headshots, easy, especially if you use stuff like machine gun nests, where you can have a perfect horizontal aim <laughs> on a large group of enemies, or also just using stuff like not necessarily just sniper rifles, but if you use an SMG and you spray into an enemy, the chance that you can that you get a headshot is quite high, A, due to the recoil, and B, due to the fact that since the damage is so small, the chance that a headshot will actually kill the enemy and not just injure him is quite high. So yeah, using SMGs as the next mission is also basically doing the same mission as with the headshots. And then the only hard mission out, out of the whole event, getting 50... Kills as a medic. Getting 50 heals as a medic would be more welcome, by the way, but 50 kills as a medic is quite hard, hard, especially if you don't play medics anymore. But don't worry, you can skip two stages or two tasks if you want to get all of the event weapons. So <clears throat> this is what this is the one that I won't but that I personally won't do. And if you absolutely want, you can always purchase the tasks, so not that much of a risk for you. And then the next stage you get 50 kills as a machine gunner. Uh, very manageable. Keep in mind, not with a machine gun as a machine gunner, so tank machine guns and so on don't work. Then 60 kills with a semi-auto rifle. Yeah, you might go up to BR3 for that because this is the optimal BR. Or play BR2 Americans because they get the M2 carbine, which is like the best by far semi-auto rifle low BR. And destroy 5 vehicles, also easy. Get 60 kills as an assaulter, also easy. Much more comfortable than with a medic. And complete four battles, which is automatic, because if you want to do this, you obviously will have four battles. And the last stages, get 40 kills as an anti-tank gunner. Here you obviously want to hunt for, for enemy vehicles, because then you usually get around four to five kills on average instantly. And your APCs already got triggered 30 times. Wow, well, very manageable too. This might be bugged, by the way, because I'm very sure, and multiple other people witnessed that too, that the game doesn't seem to count all of the activations. I had games where I had ridiculously many activations and I only got like counted 12 or so. So yeah, but still maybe Gaijin is doing Gaijin tricks here. <laughs> and then get 50 kills as a radio operator. Here you obviously want to call artillery strikes because yeah, but by far the most effective way. And complete four battles and congratulations. Once you completed eight stages, you get an MP35. Once you completed two more, you get another MP35. And if you completed 13, you get the Breda PG Kakano. Now let's take a look at this first. Also, don't forget to click on, on claim once you did the missions. But the game will automatically offer you to do it. So what's so good about this Breda? Well, very simple. It's possibly, it's likely the best Sam auto rifle in the game. Why? It has insanely low recoil. The fact that you that you are shooting with every click means that your recoil is resetting, especially since you have insanely high recoil control of 75%, which even resets the recoil automatically by 75%. So your weapon after get landing a sh after doing a shot automatically goes back to 75 by 75%. So you have you have, since you have a quite low fire rate, you already have a effectively low recoil, and then in the end, you have basically no recoil. So this is this weapon is like a laser, and on top of that, it has a 20 round magazine. The only thing that holds semi-auto rifles 
back is high shot deviation, low magazine size, and bad recoil, meaning if you want to start shooting faster, then you start uh, missing all your shots. This weapon has not a single of these problems. It even has only 31 shot deviation. They are literally machine guns with around that shot deviation. Yeah, so this is insanely good. And you also, you also get 40 additional bullets. So yeah, absolutely insane weapon. Very strong, very fun to play. It's of course BR4 because it would, it's on BR4 already one of the best weapons. So it can't be on BR5, on BR3 sadly. And BR4, as we learned in the last video, is the cursed battle rating, because this is where you basically always play against BR5, rarely against BR3, so though it might have changed due to the influx of many new players since they start populating the game from the bottom up, you will have many more BR2, 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, maybe 3 players, and this might, in, yeah, even today, change the meta game in a way that if you build yourself a BF4 army, that you get down tier to BF3 games. This would be cool if I see that, I will tell you, because that would absolutely make this weapon worth it. And then for the MP35, keep in mind this isn't the tech tree version. There is one in the tech tree, but this one isn't that good, sadly. It looks cool. Uh, it li it's literally like a small machine gun, basically. And, well, I have an upgraded one, which makes more sense to learn from. These Tech Tree MP35s have a really good fire rate, especially at least on BR3. They have the good SMG damage, well, the high SMG damage actually, and a good recoil. Only problem is quite a high shot deviation, but okay. It's an overall good weapon. Like, it's a really good weapon. For BR2, it will be overpowered. For BR3, it's good. But there are better options, especially the ZK for the Germans, because this one is quite similar. But it just has a significantly higher fire rate. Significantly higher fire rate. And here comes the big advantage of the MP35 of this event. Because the event MP35 comes with a battle rating of 2. Meaning you don't have to play the BR3 with all of its problems. And possible upranking. With this weapon you can safely stay in low BR. Especially as a new player you can, without any problems, instantly start building a BR2 army after a bunch of games. And it still retains almost all of its advantages. It still has its very high fire rate, it still has good, quite high damage. And still has really low recoil. It only gets a little bit more short deviation, but it's that's okay. So, yeah, this weapon is almost a BR3 weapon that you get to use on BR2. This is exactly the optimal way to get advantages out of a weapon. You want preferably weapons that are, that are just too strong for their BR rating. And this is exactly that type of weapon. So, absolutely great event. Absolutely great. I recommend to play and grind all the stages you need to get all three of these weapons. I definitely will. Because these weapons are just great. They are really great and they are really fun. And they are the best way to start spicing up your army. Alright? That's it. Have fun playing the event. And until soon. Goodbye.